I'm, I'm in Tenerife, mate, and I'm lost. Some sort of civilization, derelict civilization. Wait, you're all right, mate. The real tragedy is walking down this motorway is that if I get killed, there's no one, no one's going to do medic on me, are they? Because no one knows me in Tenerife. I feel like back in England, there's like a one in, I don't know, 10,000 chance. There's a, there's, a, there's a small chance that someone involved in the accident or the paramedic or someone might have watched my videos and they might do a, pan, uh, a medic on me, which is what I want. But I don't think these lot, it's not my, it's not my demographic, is it? So I'll just end up down there. A little pile of medics. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not different bits of medic, all like scattered about and that. Anyway, right, look. I'm trying to get up there. I've ended up walking from the other side of that massive hill, trying to just find a way up it. And I know there's a way up it because there's, fuck, there's like things on top of it. So there must have there must have been able to get up there to put stuff on it. But the way this is going, mate, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna head towards the sea because if I can't get to the top of that mountain, I'll just go for a swim in the sea instead and then try and maybe get a bus back to where I'm where I came from or a taxi or something because I don't fancy this road again. That's the adventure though, isn't it? That's what you're here for. <laughs> a full week of me just getting lost and searching for half-assed adventures. <laughs> Let's go. Medic! It looks like a monkey skull. I'm having it. That's my mountain. I'm even further away from it now. Oh. Okay, I've come all the way from that side round this main road all the way around here and I'm still I'm none the wiser mate keep going this way I guess I've only just realized that there is a possibility that the pot that the that there is no way to get up there and then pylons and stuff that are up there might have just been helicoptered in <laughs> and if that is the case I'm completely pissing into the wind aren't I Hong Kong, pissing into the wind, and I don't even know where it's. I know the sea's that way, but it seems to be a long way away. I set off today. I thought, right, I had a nice healthy breakfast, and I thought, right, I'm going to go on an adventure, and that hill, I'm going to get to the top of there. That was my thing for today, and now, Mackie D's bag. I've just been walking outside of here for about ten miles. Uh, so I need some. I need some nature. I need the sea, or the top of a mountain, or something, mate. I guess this is the adventure, isn't it? Whether I, whoa, the adventures me ended up in a ended up in a Tenerife hospital. Tenerife. Right. I can come off this road, and I can. There's just this r random dirt. Path. Yeah, turn to page 32 if you want to take this random path. I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do it. Okay, it was getting a bit spooky on that road with them these big buses going past, mate. It was kind of un unsettling me off my feet. <laughs> and that's not because I was on <laughs> last night. I'd had a couple. I'm on holiday. I thought you look like Chad from America. So I look like an American Chad kind of guy. Uh, I've come to a place called Los Cristianos in Tenerife just because I've just had a bit of, I've been working hard mate, I've been working hard and you know a lot of personal stuff has been going on and all that sort of settling down now so I thought right last minute flight before kids break up from school, let's get out, I'm just gonna go. Today, there was a big hill at the back of us and I thought, right, well, as, you, as I've told you, I'll try and get to the top of there and I can, can have a little look around and that, but I've cacked it and now I'm here. I tried to get up 
but I, I didn't. I've not managed it and I'm here now. So, Pam Ma. Well, it looks like some sort of, looks like some sort of holiday complex. Doesn't even look like a village or anything, so. There's that. Let's go see what this place has to offer. I've made it to sea. See? Oh. Oh. What's mad is, right, you can't get round here. And just round there is where I'm staying. I've walked all the way around the back of it. I wonder if I could rock climb that. Let's go around these rocks and see if there is a... Ah, they're definitely in. See if there is a way up, up and over that madness. It's too steep. Let's have a look. Game on. Game on, man. I'm going to try and get up there. If this leads uh, to the top of my hill. Oh. I'm going to be over at moon, over at moon, even if I've got to come all the way back, because that is uh, objective complete. Oh, it doesn't look good, does it? Sketchville. I'll have to put you away, because I'm going to climb up there if I can. Made it up here. Made it up here. Which is good. An actual trek, but that that's my hill there, so proper shat it. Look at this mate. It's like a desert. A cactus and that. Oh there's a path there look. Heading sort of towards it. But I'm curious to see where this one goes. That's the problem in it when you've got no map or no real plans. Your sense of adventure can kick in and you just don't know where you're going to end up and then you can end up just lost like I am. Let's go this way for a little bit and remember, we'll leave some breadcrumbs and then if we can always come back out and go that way because it looks like that might lead to the top of that mountain. I'm having a good time though now. Now we're off that motorway. And I've actually got a bit of a sweat on actually doing some serious hiking now which is good look at this starting to go down now so this is where i'm staying in this metropolis but a couple of good things is i've not had to go all the way back round so this has been a, a sound little walk if this is doing what it looks like it's doing and dropping me back down there lap perfect also what it's done is dropped me off here and now I've gone that way before, up into all that, where it's all quite touristy. But if you look just down here, the sea looks relatively calm. And there looks like to be good visibility as well. With a few rocks and stuff, so I might have just found myself a nice little diving spot as well. So that's mint. If you don't go, you don't know. That's a good saying, is that? And also... There's another saying that says, when you're walking on the edge of these cliffs, don't be talking to a camera because you could stack it. You could medic it into the sea and never be seen again. So, on that note. Do not enter risk of falling to another level. Too late, mate. Done it. And made it back down in one piece. Leveled up. That was as good an adventure as I've had because it was... Uh, it had everything, it had everything. It had lows, it had highs. Oh. I was a bit gutted when I was stuck on that motorway, mate. I was a bit gutted. And then when I got to that other place and I thought I was gonna have to go back, and then I found that little track and it's brought me right over Topsy, which was a lovely walk. And a lot longer than, than it probably comes across on camera, but it's now three o'clock in the afternoon. I've been at it all day. Tell you what, mate, I've earned a cold one. Let's go find a nice bar. Ah. Go and get a cold drop down us. Medic! Had a few panda pops last night, and I'm in thick of it, look. People everywhere. But I'm going to go to that place that I saw from the top of the cliff, 
that looked like there was visibility and see if we can get a bit of free diving done and see if we can befriend an octopus. Make a Netflix show about it or something. Bit of rock climbing. First thing of a morn. Uh, here you are, look. Uh, easy life. It's always good to get your local tides as well because for all I know, if this is coming, if this is going down and I go off here and it keeps going down, I might not be able to get out. So from what it looks like is that it's it's at pretty much its lowest point now. So it'll probably be going to slack water, then it'll be coming back in. So I'm not going to get found out. And if worse comes to worst, I can just go over there where them people are and get out there. So there you go. Safety, innit? Always know. <sighs> Always work out your exit strategy in case things go south, mate. In case octopus sucks onto bonts. Get in and out of here, maybe. I'll have to jump in. Come on, let's switch to GoPro and get you in there see if we can find a top to plus. It's beautiful. There are fish. There's such a wide variety of different fish. <laughs> well happy about it, mate. Well happy. <laughs> That was. <laughs> there I am, just eating little dud, little Dudley Moors. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit if I look if I'm in Dudley Moors, but a bit like mate. That was some of the best, some of the best free diving uh, that I've ever done. I was in there for ages. Just the diversity, all the di the different fish, like. So many different fish in, like, man, so many colourful fish and little interactions going on. The little blue and black ones are right aggy and they'd come out and fight other fish. Um, I dived, I went out quite far, got down pretty deep as well. Just unreal. My mouth's gone all mental because I was in there for too long. And you could feel the tide changing and it really was pulling me. Powerful tides, so something to be wary of in the future, but what a spot and my hotel i'm just staying up there my apartment's just up there so this is it couldn't be better and i'm so glad i found it and i wouldn't have found it if i hadn't have gone up on that mad adventure <laughs> chuffed as a dog with two dicks brilliant well, i hope i got you some good footage of that i'll, I'll be back because I want to find an octopus and uh, see if I can become its friend, put it in a jar, take it home, take it for walks and that.
Guys, that monster! That was awesome! Awesome. What a day. Been diving today, saw an amazing ray. It was massive. Hopefully I've got it on footage, but that was the highlight of the day. I've just come to the airport to hire a car because I'm getting out of there and I'm gonna to go to the north of the island and see what's going on. Where am I? 94, here we are. 94, look at this. My new whip. <laughs> little whip. Got me sent a little whip, that's what. Little key. Didn't even have central locking. I went getting it wrong side already. There you go. Don't bode well, does it? Don't bode well when he's already tried to get in fucking wrong side. Oh dear. So I'm in here, it's tiny, isn't it? Look at it. On the other side at roads as well, which I have done before. Did it, like, I did it a year ago, so just in. But I had an automatic. What's going on here? Let's have a little bit of a practice. It's like a brake clutch. Clutch is on right, is it? No, surely not. Oh, it'd be easy, won't it? Once you get going, tiny car. It's like a go kart, isn't it? So the plan is. I'm just going to drive up to the north of the island. I've booked myself in a hostel for a couple of nights. So it's like a, a little side quest, a holiday within a holiday. Uh, and it's a, apparently it's like a little local fishing village that's really good for surfing. It's sort of renowned for surfing. So, you know, I might even have a little surf. Hopefully there'll be some... Uh, some nice things to see, some bit of culture. It is a bit of a tourist trap where I am at the moment, so it's gonna be nice just to get away for a couple of days up into the north of the island and just, and see what's going on. I'll, I'm gonna bring you with me. There we go. Med it. Med it. <laughs> uh, where am I? Let's have a look at my map. Punta del Hidalgo. Punta del Hidalgo, mate. Booked into a hostel for two nights here, which is just over there. So I book in, see what crack is, and then um, might go and have a beverage somewhere. <laughs> Sitting sunshine. This place is pretty cool, and there's people surfing just there. So I might get a surfboard. Who knows? And there's my digs. That's where I'm staying, look. Look at digs, mate. Look at digs. He's at digs. Look at that, mate. That's got to be one at best. 30 euros a night. What's that? Like 25 quid a night. Look at that. It's like something off a... Something like a rapper would sing about, mate. Isn't it? Mountains, sea, couple of dudes smashing it on ukuleles, beer, happy as a pig and shit. Shit all, mate, shit all. Just fanboying one of these beverages down me. With views, look. Mate, it is boiling in here, so be quick. Let's get window cranked open. Should have done this before. I can't remember what I last said or where we last were, but it's been a few days. I'm back in the south now, um, in my little Citroen that I've fallen in love with. I love it. And I've made it my mission today to find a turtle and swim with it. There's a place down, further down the south coast, I can't forget what it's called. Apparently it's overrun with hippies and uh, sort of like traveller types, bohemian types. So I'll fit in, look at these shorts, mate. Eh? They'll take me as their leader with these bad boys on. My lucky shorts anyway, so apparently that's where you, there's a good, there's a high possibility of seeing turtles out there. 
green turtles, loggerhead turtles, all that. It's all good all round. Right, anyway, let's take these shorts and go and become king of the gypsies. Come on. This is where I think I'm going to get in here. The tide, the, it's not as protected as, as this cove. Uh, you can see tides are coming in now. Coming in pretty fast. <laughs> Are you having this look bro? Look. Look how blue that is. But the wave the waves are pretty they're pretty gnarly, but apparently there is a chance of seeing turtles in here, so I'm just gonna get in and I think as long as I stay away from the sides the, the, the waves aren't gonna smash me and I should be alright. I'm a strong swimmer so I'm confident I'm gonna give it a go anyway. No, too dangerous in there. It's too dangerous. I jumped in just to have a little look and it's too rough, which is, it's kicking everything up so the, the visibility is not good anyway. And it just isn't worth it because the current is so strong and there's loads of rocks at the side. So it ain't worth getting noggin bust open like a watermelon, is it? just to see Donatello's ass. This volcanic rock is a paint for tootsies. Right, let's have a little look. Oh, it's like Marbella, mate. There's yachts and all sorts in here, look. Not my bag. Like some off Star Wars. It looks a bit more rocky down here, which might prove to be better visibility if I can get in. <laughs> anyway. air on it mate I've been in there for well over an hour now I uh, saw a cuttlefish which was pretty cool the visibility cleared up a little bit but wasn't great no turtles turtle bay you've let me down I now pronounce you just bay Michael Bay right we're gonna jump in whip and head off down the coast I might bring you with me I might not who okay, who knows? I'll do one thing though. Medic! There's boot packed. I'm pretty much done, mate. I'm uh, chucking everything in boot at car, leaving it here. I've signed out of my apartment. And uh, I'm just gonna go and get a tattoo now. <laughs> in there. I was gonna get a turtle if I'd have found a turtle, but I didn't find one, so maybe a shell or something. 